so welcome back students so today we are going to start with the new chapter that is related to charts how to ch generate charts do plotting and uh, you know how to generate graphs because in today's world if uh, we have to do certain analysis of the data then we require you know a require a chart so using the chart we can do the analysis of data and this is very important in today's time because uh, you might have heard the word that is a uh, data science and uh, python is also very good at uh, data science so data science is basically about studying the data you know the deep data and extracting the data and lot of things are involved into it so that you know analysis can be done so various organizations do this uh, data science work for their benefit so uh, charts actually plays a very important role when we do the analysis of data we are going to learn about a uh, few modules and uh, before we actually start generating the uh, you know the graphs so the first module that uh, we are going to learn today is about uh, the numpy now uh, this is a module which is uh, readily available to you with uh, the with the anaconda distribution now if you have the anaconda distribution so it will be readily available to you another module that we are going to learn is the matplot uh, library so matplotlib that is uh, the name of the library so even this particular module is uh, readily available to you if you are really working with the anaconda distribution so if anaconda distribution is with you you have installed it so you do not have to install these uh, modules in case if you do not have and you are simply using the uh, simple python you need to install it please understand this so you can go to the you know the script mode and you can install something like pip install and simply you type numpy so that's the command you're supposed to use pip in space install space numpy so that's the command you're supposed to use to install this particular module that is numpy so i hope i'm clear with this uh, so children please it's better to have uh, the anaconda feature and if you have installed anaconda and then it's not like every time you have to just go to anaconda you can simply just open the spider because spider is also the part of uh, the distribution right so there are various uh, ides that the, this uh, distribution has and that's the reason it is called as distribution because there are many modules that are readily installed there are many ID, ides that are available for you so it makes the works work easy basically okay so if you do not have then you can just install it and uh, then you can start using this module now that's the first step so once you install the module then we are going to use the module okay and uh, simply we are use the command we are going to use the command that is uh, that is import numpy now numpy is a module just a small introduction i will give it to you it is uh, called as numerical python so uh, it is used in data science basically okay and in future if you really go into data science into robotics and all you're going to get uh, used to this particular module and uh, there are many features that this module has but we are going to use the limited features uh, for generating the uh, you know the graphs uh, so we are going to use this particular module so numpy and uh, i will just give an alias name that is np and that is a common convention that is used everywhere numpy as np that's the common convention name that is given the alias name that is given fine so numpy as np you can give any name that you want it will not matter a lot and uh, the most uh, you know the most important uh, function that we are going to use of this particular module 
is the array okay now what is an array so array is basically a collection of uh, similar kind of data now that's the simple english array is a collection of simple kind of data and arrays are basically much faster than the list please understand this now list is something you know it contains uh, data of uh, any data type so we can have a list and we can have the elements in in a list of any data type so array is a different thing array is like you know uh, we store numbers into it so it is going to have only numbers so homogeneous elements it can have homogeneous means similar elements fine so how to uh, generate an array that is what we are going to learn so suppose if i have a list so array uh, to use this also we require a list so this is a list and i say an array now that is just my name that i have given okay this is user defined and i say np dot and then there is a method that you have to use that is array now this is just a beginning children so do not get okay what exactly is happening it is just a module and uh, that we are using we are just getting introduced to this particular module and we are going to use the method that is the array method and in future we are going to use this particular uh, method okay and i pass the list to us to this particular uh, method that is l so this is going to generate an array so now if i print the array so it is going to print the array and it is going to print normally it shows the list okay but this is not a list it it prints that particular elements in form of a list okay for example this is basically an array name of the variable is also an array okay so i can print the data type the type right i can use the type function to get exactly what uh, you know kind of data type this is so i can use the type function right and if now if i run this and you can see the output this was the first output it displayed the list in form of a list but this is basically it belongs to a class and what class does it belong to that is that is the numpy and that is basically nd array right so this is the data type now one more thing children please understand in python everything is a class class and objects everything is related to classes and objects but the only thing that we don't have in our syllabus is how to create our own classes and own objects that is what we don't have but uh, every module every function that you are using in python it is the part of a class understand it everything is related to classes and objects so you can see that you know if i say class uh, basically it gives it as class it belongs to this particular class even if i have a simple variable and uh, just an extra information that i'm giving and nothing else okay and now if i try to print type and i and you can see for that also it will give a class that is it belongs to a class that is int right is simple variable so in python everything is a class understand it okay but only thing that we didn't had in the syllabus which they should have given the part of the syllabus is how to create our own classes and objects so you can use many modules in your projects because uh, just few confusions uh, few students had so you can use many modules and it belongs to some some class okay so you can use it so that's the type of the variable that is array now this is a this is a method name of the method which belongs to the module that is numpy and this array is just a name that i have given i can give any name that is ar and it will not make any difference okay so it is as as it is just same you can see fine so that is an array and uh, this will have similar data type now what does that mean for example if i try to provide a list and give a character that is a right and now if i try to run this 
what is going to happen is you can uh, say okay okay you can see that it has given the list it has displayed the elements in form of a list but the difference between the previous list and this list is different over here every element has now turned out to be a character you can can you see that double single quotes over here right so this shows that this is in form of a you know all are characters basically right so that is the difference okay so we can have an array of homogeneous elements which means similar data types array can always have elements of similar data types also understand i told you that arrays are much much faster than list because list can contains uh, various kind of uh, elements i mean the data type can be uh, can be different but arrays can have only similar data type and that is the reason that they are fast and another important technical reason is that the data that is stored in an array and basically it is stored in the memory so a complete block of code has been allocated for an array which means if it is an integer number i just these are the four numbers assuming that these are like uh, you know assume that this is a two byte they are occupying so in that case a complete block that is eight blocks will be allocated for this if it is two right and uh, so complete eight block of uh, memory allocation will be done for an array and every element will have two blocks so complete eight blocks so they will be contiguous basically a continuous a contiguous block of eight will be allocated in the memory whereas in list it is not so children in list the blocks can vary the, the blocks are like you know shattered everywhere list is, is a bit complex data type and uh, array is a very simple data type you can say and uh, this is very fast to access the data becomes fast because the data is stored in a contiguous form fine so these are some technical things that i'm telling you it is not going to matter a lot so this is about uh, the array and one more difference you know there is a basic difference first difference that i told you is the similar data type array can have a data uh, elements of similar data type and uh, now if if this is a list and if i try to add two to this okay and try to print l what is going to happen with this this kind of scenario that is l is equal to or forget this okay plus 2 no issues or over here i can do plus 2 and remove it from here so what is going to happen over here this is going to basically it is going to throw me an error right so i cannot add the plus 2 l to plus 2 to a list isn't it this i cannot do if i want to add the element into the list then i have to use the method that is the append the append method but i cannot do it this way or if i say if i say plus 2 it will get added to every element this is not possible with list and so there is no flexibility that we have when we are working with uh, you know graphs or uh, charts so and we re we require this flexibility okay as we are going to deal with this in the future so this flexibility arrays will provide you for example this is an array and over here it will just display the array right now if i run this it is going to display but if i say ar and plus 2 and what is going to happen over here is you know that two number is going to get added to every element of the um, in this case of the array that is this you can see 1 so plus 2 that is 3 4 5 and this became 6 so that is another flexibility that arrays is going to provide us okay accessing the element from an array is as equal as accessing the element of a list so if i want to access any element i have to use the index value so simply i can say print and if i say ar of 3 uh, so this is going to basically display the value that is 4 did it display 4 okay that was just 
I was just printing it out here. It was, wasn't assigned to AR, right? So it's that is okay. So if I or rather I should do this AR is equal to AR plus two. Now this is going to work and you can see six, isn't it? So that's the index value of uh, the array. So that was zero, one, two, and three. So if I have, have to access uh, three, so I can give this index value as zero. And uh, you can see that we have the element that is three. So this is one of the, uh, you know, the way of accessing the elements of uh, the array. So it is, uh, the, it is the same that we do it for the uh, list. Now another uh, method that we are going to learn about the NumPy, and that is the the A arrange. The A, yes, A range basically. Okay, A range, and it is as equal as uh, the function that we use. That is the range function. So how to use that particular is I'm going to simply say a range okay a range and if I say 1 comma 10 and then I'm going to print the array so this is going to generate the numbers that is between 1 to 9 so this particular method is the same work it is going to do that is uh, about that that we have for the uh, range function okay so it is going to work the same and then we can have the step that is the jump that we can give if i use two out here and then if i just uh, execute the code and these are the elements that is going to get uh, generated also we can specify the uh, data type over here that is uh, comma np dot float so if i want the data to be a floating type so this is how i'm going to do it so i use the same that is np that is numpy dot float so np dot float and now if i run this i'm going to have the same elements but now you can see that these are floating elements okay so you can see over here 1.3.5.7 uh, point and 9 point and this is going to uh, going to be very useful for us so this is an another method that belongs to the module numpy and uh, then okay. uh, so there are other data types also you can just work uh, work around with it okay so another method children that we need to understand so that is a range it is as equal as uh, the range function and uh, the entire procedure is same just that you can specify the data type that you want the elements to be fine if you want normally we are going to deal with numbers children so we can uh, just keep this as integer or we can make it as float so we are going to deal with most probably with the numbers and uh, then another thing that important we are going to understand is uh, is the line space now this is very important just a minute the exact spelling is that is a you know it's lin space basically okay so it is going to give uh, generate you know the elements evenly spaced elements basically okay so for example if i give 1 comma 10 and between this you know i want to generate some numbers for example i want five numbers to get generated automatically between one to ten and uh, so this is going to print you can see it is going to print five elements so the output that we're going to have the array that we are going to have is five elements okay because i have specified over here that is five so it is going to generate five numbers which will come under between 1 and 10 understand that and this is basically going to generate floating numbers most probably 
so you can see these are the five elements these are equally spaced elements so one and then 3.25 5.5 7.75 5 and then 10 so if i make this as uh, maybe six so we are going to have the six elements and uh, you know the and the equally spaced, uh, spaced uh, numbers between the number that is one and ten so you can see that is these are the six numbers now why do we require is for basically for graphs okay so we want to show some graphs and we want want to have a range between one to ten and we want to show that elements uh, equally spaced or evenly spaced so uh, maybe so we can use this particular in space function or method to generate the you know for plotting we are going to use it children okay as we are going to go ahead with this particular chapter you're going to understand the usability of uh, all these uh, methods and functions so now over here you can see there are six elements this is one this is two this is three four this is five and last we have ten okay so that is the lin space so and uh, then there are many other methods that uh, the numpy function has and uh, basically all those functions are mathematical functions so by which we can create the sine cos tan uh, waves uh, you know so basically it is used in graphs so we are going to deal with all that okay so we just are keeping things pretty simple okay so the first simple you know uh, plotting that we are going to do is uh, for a, uh, a line chart okay and for that also we require a module now this is about the numpy module so let me just uh, switch to another module that is import and uh, name of the module is matplotlib okay and uh, from this module we are going to use a sub module that is pi and plot as p okay so matplot library children again i will tell you if you do not have this so install it you can just go to the script mode i can install it like uh, pip install and uh, name of the module is mat plot and lib you can also just search on the internet okay mat plot lib library and it will show you all the instructions that you're supposed to do and normally this is the way to install any kind of module in python okay so use this particular command to install this particular module and uh, using this module we are going to generate the charts so uh, pi plot as p if i say and uh, so simply we are going to generate one simple uh, line uh, line chart and for that i require you know right i'm not going to use any numpy as such okay so if i say x is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and y is equal to uh, i will say 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 now for line chart children please understand we need to have two uh, that is uh, this is going to the horizontal x-axis and this is going to work as the vertical that is the y-axis and uh, simply then i have to use p dot and then i can do the method that i am going to use is plot x comma y and that's it okay that is x comma y and now if i run this so it is going to uh, display the the line chart and that's in front of you and now please do not use any print function out here okay we are not going to use any print function so this is the uh, display in front of you that's the output that we are going to have and you can see that's this is the x-axis at the bottom this is the y-axis 
isn't it so that's one and then 1.5 and you can see it is automatically generated uh, some evenly spaced numbers between one to four you can see this one to four okay and uh, now if i just make some changes to y-axis i make this as five and uh, now if i run this and it is going to give a different structure and this is what we had why because you can see this x-axis that is one so it, it is one over here but then by uh, x-axis is one y-axis is one so it started from here as one one and then x-axis the next element is two so it's over here but the y-axis was five so you can see it has taken five over here isn't it and then three and then the four and that is the reason why we have the structure so you need to just uh, play around with this and uh, you, it will be very much clear to you we can uh, give some you know uh, some of uh, the names to the that is uh, before i plot that is p dot that is uh, label to the x axis so right now i'm not sure for which reason or what kind of data i have so i can simply say x axis just a name that i'm giving you can give any name depending on what kind of graph or chart you are representing and this will be y and this will be y axis and now if i run this okay you can see that is the x axis and the y axis you can give any name okay so this is about uh, the just an introduction children uh, tomorrow we are going to go ahead with uh, some other we are going to work with different type, types of charts okay so i am uh, just uh, wrapping up for today again then we will meet tomorrow and please prepare for your exams children file handling is what we have for your exam so please study file handling okay bye for now